Most of us right on the edge of the stormy weather, most of us being the Snake River Plain. You go farther east, it's a different story. Just had a thunderstorm roll across to Income, still part of it trying to climb the range towards Pebble Creek. Some strong thunderstorms over in eastern Bonneville County around Palisades and then Scooting over the border into Alpine, Wyoming. Definitely shower activity around Afton, Star Valley. So we're going to see a lot more of this trickle in over the next several days. In fact, tomorrow won't be quite as sunny. That'll take a little bit of the edge off the heat. Now, don't get me wrong. We're still going to be pretty hot tomorrow. We're still going to be in those hot 90s. But we'll take a few degrees off the highs compared to where we were today. And there's potential slight risk, at least in Pocatello and Otto Falls tomorrow, seeing some of this green pop up. Slight risk of showers and thunderstorms with a much better chance of seeing that on Wednesday. And wait until you see the seven day. Uh, we're talking about how hot it's been this last weekend. It seems like it's been hot forever. Well, we have a nice break, a noticeable break from the heat. And that seven day will let it all out for you. So tonight, let's chat about that. We got a partly cloudy sky, low temperatures, warmer than usual. Pocatello 66 will be your low. We'll be about 10 degrees cooler in Idle Falls. That's pretty typical, 56, but not bad compared to where we typically are during the nighttime. Just one red, red flag warning out for the Central Mountains until 9 this evening. Gusty winds, threat of some uh, lightning out there. Uh, low temperatures tonight, 37 in Stanley. Imagine having that for a nighttime low in Pocatello and Otto Falls. Not yet. We're still a ways off from that. Chalice around 52, Lettor at 49. Upper Highlands, Western Wyoming, isolated showers and thunderstorms later this evening. They're a bit more numerous than just isolated right now. So for the next few hours, we'll call it widely scattered shower activity, and then it will start to thin out quite a bit as we get closer to the evening. Southeast Highlands, isolated showers and thunderstorms, low temperatures ranging from the lower 50s to almost 60. 59 for you, Preston. And then tomorrow, chance of showers and thunderstorms. Temperatures backing off just a tiny bit. That means for all of us, at least in the southeast highlands, we'll be in the 80s instead of the 90s. So we're starting to see that break already beginning tomorrow. Now for the upper highlands, western Wyoming, uh, still one 90 degree a day left, at least for Dubois. Mid 80s in Jackson with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. And for the central mountains, you got more 90s, more sunshine, lots of sunshine and hot. Both salmon and chalice in the mid 90s. Tomorrow for the Snake River Plain, we're still in the 90s, but there is a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. So don't be surprised if it decides to rain on your freshly washed car. There you go. You wait. It's going to rain more than just a slight chance of rain come Wednesday. Take a look at that Southeast Idaho Chevy Dealer seven day forecast. Look how the temperatures just drop. We go from 93 tomorrow to 78 on Wednesday, even cooler on Thursday, 75. Showers likely, thunderstorms, showers likely, thunderstorms for Friday. A chance of that lingering towards the end of the work week. What a first few days of August. Of course, tomorrow's still pretty hot, but as we get farther into the month, I kind of like where it's, where it's going here. This weekend, first weekend of the new month, lower 80s. Almost 20 degrees cooler than what we've been used to it we, during our last couple of weekends at least. Teton area seven day forecast, chance of storminess tomorrow. Showers and thunderstorms likely Wednesday all the way through Friday. And even a chance of showers and thunderstorms for this first weekend of August, Saturday and Sunday. And you saw the highs barely in the 70s for the Central Mountains. First day of August tomorrow, still hot. But along comes day two, it gets even better, even cooler at least, with showers likely. Best day for that on Friday. Chance of showers and thunderstorms Saturday and Sunday.